Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So kinda in our middle bedroom we usually keep a lot of junk and stuff and this is where I keep my makeup. So I really really look at the makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and go on the top one. Lanking collection. This makeup is makeup I've been focused on using every day. Every now and then I'll reach in here and grab something out. So I'm going to do small clips and stuff and put it all together. Alright, I'll just show you what it looks like in here. I've been trying to use this for so many times. My hair started day after Christmas last year and I've used it 15 times. Some kind of slacking. But I did use it today. The greens in this is really pretty. And, um, not really a fan of green. Alright, so. I don't remember what's still in here, but I will test some of this stuff and see if it's still good or not. So, yeah. Alright, here it is. So, I'm gonna make up. I've got it piled in there. Remember what this one looks like. So see how much I've used this one. Okay. Those are so pretty though. Kind of similar to this in a way. But I do love how this is packaged though. <coughs> <coughs> Basically got everything stacked on each other. Every time I get stuff out, I'm just like, I don't remember how this is piled up or how I had it organized and this one I've never really got this pilly off of this Cut it up. Come on. There you go. No, I think I had it. That's why I kept wrapping short nails. It's alright. 
<laughs> well, I don't think I really used this palette either. Just like, I don't use it, but I really don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, every time I go through my makeup, I at least want to get rid of one atom out of each department. Let's see here. Just, I've used this blue one a couple of times. Looks like a little bit of broken off. <clears throat> Let's check this frozen one. That's the middle one. It's a little rusty, but it looks like the other ones are doing great. And the silver in here is absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to use the one in the center. It looks like snow. After reorganizing and getting rid of a couple of things, these are going into my nightmare before makeup bag. They're kind of dried out, and I want to try to use what I can of these. I put this stuff in it and it seemed to help so I am gonna keep this bra the bra this box and this is actually what I got out that part this is just blush I normally don't go for the pink blushes Especially pink, pinker ones. If I can get this open. It's hard to get it open in one hand. I do love the little hearts and those. And I got this for free from um, I mean, I thought that they're great, but since I just got another set in the Ipsy box, there's no need to have two, especially since I don't even use this one much. Got rid of this one. I don't go for this and they always dry up before I use them anyway. They're kind of a brownie, copper, well, bronzy color. 
these and I've got a crap load of <clears throat> eyeliners and I don't use the liquid much. And this is the only eyeshadow palette I got rid of because I don't see myself using these colors at all. There's some better. I don't know, the only ones I would go for is probably those two right there. Maybe the top row. And maybe this one. But the other colors I don't see myself using. Alright, so I will clean the other <coughs> departments when I get a chance. And we'll see what I can get rid of. Maybe trade something out or something. I don't know. We will see. I'm not sure how this video would go. Well, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Alright, here it is. After reorganizing and getting rid of a couple of things, these are going into my nightmare before makeup bag because they're kind of dried out, and I want to try to use what I can of these. I put this stuff. In it, and it seemed to help. So I am gonna keep this bra, the bra, this box. And this is actually what I got out that part. This is just blush. I normally don't go for the pink blushes. Especially pink, pinker ones. If I can get this open. It's hard to get it open in one hand. I do love the little hearts in those. And I got this for free from um, I mean, that they're, they're great, but since I just got another set in the Ipsy box, there's no need to have two, especially since I I don't even use this one much. Got rid of this one. I don't go for this and they always dry up before I use them anyway. They're kind of a browny, copper, bronzy color. Got rid of these. I've got a crap load of. <clears throat> Eyeliners and I don't use the liquid much. And this is the only eyeshadow palette I got rid of because I don't see myself using these colors at all. There's some better. I don't know, the only ones I would go for is probably. Those two right there. Maybe the top row. And maybe this one. But the other colors I don't see myself using. Alright, so I will clean the other <coughs> departments when I get a chance. 
and we'll see what I can get rid of. Maybe trade something out or something. I don't know. We will see. I'm not sure how this video would go. Well, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey, lovelies. Welcome back. So I figured I would go through more of my makeup. <clears throat> I figured I would get this out of my Nightmare Before Christmas bag. That's coming off. Gonna scratch a little. I guess that's what I get for keeping it out of the box. Original. Here is the other one. I think this one's a little more bronzy. I'm kind of bad at keeping um, <clears throat> makeup in boxes. It's more, um, uh, the cider's more, uh, coppery. That one's a cider, and this is pumpkin spice. So this one's a little more orangey. I'm kind of tempted just to take everything out and just kind of show you what I have. This one I had in um, one of those boxes that I showed you in first part of the video. So I figured I would get myself, make myself get rid of something in here to make room for this. So we will see how we do. Alright, so I got everything out. So this is my, foundation, I know I've got one like this in my nightmare but for Christmas, and it's a long white tube, it's kind of like a moisturizer type foundation. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven primers. And I know I've got at least two more of my nightmare before Christmas. And there's the only two bronzing. One of them was already in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen eyeliners. Yeah, this one's supposed to be a black eyeliner. It's probably be great for gloss who like to use black to highlight or it'll probably be great for your ass too. Um, I guess this one could be a highlight. This one's got a bronzing highlight and blush in it. This one could be more of a blush. So, one, two, three, four, five blushes. I'm not really big on blush. I think this one's more... I dropped it. Blush bronzing tap deal. Wow. 
think this will be perfect for me to keep. So it seems to go good with my skin tone. But run over it with my chair. This one's the one I got out of. Luxy Charm. I really don't want to say the name because I kind of don't want to get demonetized. I don't know why you want to name a makeup product that. Alright, so... Let's figure out what to keep and what to get rid of, so... Show you a clip when I get everything cleaned up or organized. Alright, so I got rid of two things. She's these two primers. I went and crazy about how they feel or smell, but they're still good primers if you're into like the dewy and stuff. But here is everything. So I got a little room there, so the Jurassic Park eyeliners, I'm gonna stick there. I had one in the trap drawer that I just organized, so I'll find something to put in an empty spot, but oops. I also have this blush which I'm gonna put right here so now this is full again so I usually give my makeup to people I personally know so one of these are going to my mother-in-law which I think will be this one I'm going to give this one to a friend. So I've got two more departments of this to reorganize and go through. So I'm done when I'll organize those. Well, I'll go ahead and end this video here. I'll see you lovelies later. Bye. Alright, here is another department with my makeup case and I'm going to take this all out and see how I can organize this and maybe get rid of one atom. Try to get rid of one thing in each department so... It seems like I like everything in this apartment, so it'd be kind of hard to get rid of something. We'll see. Alright, so this is all the makeup in this apartment. If anything, I'll take the these are the boxes and maybe put them elsewhere and see if I can make room to put something in here. Alright, the only thing I talk to myself and getting rid of this one here. I don't see myself using this and I've already got other colors like this and other palettes, at least something similar. It's a good palette, but I'm getting rid of that. So, this is what it looks like now. So, I did get rid of some other boxes, so taking these 
now Ashley created a lot more room. So Ashley managed to put some more things in here. Just awesome. Yeah. Now all I have to do is clean the bottom one and I'm not sure when I'll get to that yet. So so far I hope you're enjoying the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Alright, so I'm getting ready to go for the bottom of my uh, makeup piece and this one's pretty well kinda tall. This is the tallest one in the the case. It's kind of not far from my knee. When it's <clears throat> on its wheels. Some of these bags got like stuff in it like lipsticks, makeup sponge. This one's got um eyelashes. This one's more or less random stuff. Yeah. Once I get all this out, I think we'll do kind of a clip, probably. Alright, got everything out. My random furry bag, lipsticks. Eyelashes, sponge, got some makeup up here. Got a tall pile there, stitch pile there. Excuse me, those two there. So we put everything back in here and get rid of like one or two things at least and make some room scrubbers eat this so I can probably save some room getting rid of this because there's like enough in here for like one more palette these are like really pretty palettes too. <laughs> but the weirdo with me likes to keep stuff in boxes to kind of keep everything together. So let's get this in. Alright, so this was in one of my boxes that I've been starting extra makeup. So here, this is Stone Cold Box from Colourpop. I love texture. I don't know how well the camera's. There it goes. It's picking up really good. Colors are super pretty. This one is a Aurora Stuck Color Pop. Since I have faded to hue in here, this is the first thing I've got from Color Pop. I figured I would put three of those together. Alright, I'm continuing to put the rest of the stuff in here. Alright, so I am almost done putting this all up. Took a little longer than I wanted because I had my nose stuck on my phone. But after adding two more things, and I'm getting rid of two things, it's something. I did not like the way this lipstick feels. I kind of think. I got it out of one of the boxes I 
can't remember. And getting rid of this. And I've got getting rid of these two boxes. So one thing I have to put up is these bags. So if you watch this whole video, thank you for watching. And maybe next time I'll do part or something. I'm going through again. I'll probably do something again next year. So I'll meet you for now. Bye. Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So I'm kinda in our middle bedroom where I usually keep all our junk and stuff and this is where I keep my makeup. So I really really want to go through my makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the purple. King collection. This makeup is makeup I'm been focused on using every day. Every now and then I'll reach in here and grab something out. So I'm gonna do small clips and stuff and put it all together. All right, I'll just show you what it looks like in here. I've been trying to use this for so many times. My hair started day after Christmas last year and I've used it 15 times. So I'm kind of slacking. But I did use it today. The greens in this is really pretty. And, um, not really a fan of green. Alright, so. I don't remember what's all in here, but I will test some of this stuff and see if it's still good or not. So, yeah. Alright, here is some of my cup. I've got it piled in there. Remember what this one looks like. So see how much I've used this one. Okay. Those are super pretty though. Kind of similar to this in a way, but 
But I do love how this is packaged though. <clears throat> <clears throat> Basically got everything stacked on each other. Every time I get stuff out, I'm just like, I don't remember how this is piled up. Or how I had it organized. And this one, I've never really got this pilly off of this. Cut it up. Come on. There we go. No, I think I had it. That's why I kept wrapping short nails. I don't think I really use this palette either. Cause like, I don't use it, but I really don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, every time I go through my makeup, I at least want to get rid of one atom out of each department. Just a few let's pull it one a couple of times. <sighs> Looks like a little bit of broken off. <clears throat> That's the middle one. It's a little rusty, but it looks like the other ones are doing great. And the silver in here is absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to use the one in the center. It looks like snow. After reorganizing and getting rid of a couple of things, these are going into my nightmare before makeup bag because they're kind of dried out, and I want to try to use what I can of these. I put this stuff. In it and it seemed to help. So I am gonna keep this bra, the bra, this box. And this is actually what I got out that part. This is just blush. I normally don't go for the pink blushes. Especially 
pink, pinker ones. If I can get this open. It's hard to get open in one hand. But I do love the little hearts in those. I got this for free from um I mean, I thought that they're great, but since I just got another set in the AFC box, there's no need to have two. Especially since I don't even use this one much. Got rid of this one. I don't go for this, and they always dry up before I use them anyway, kind of a browny, copper, uh, bronzy color. Got rid of these. I've got a crap load of <clears throat> eyeliners, and I don't use the liquid much. And this is the only eyeshadow palette I got rid of, because I don't see myself using these colors at all. There's some better. I mean, yeah, the only ones I would go for is probably those two right there. Maybe the top row. And maybe this one. But the other colors I don't see myself using. I will clean the other <coughs> departments when I get a chance, and we'll see what I can get rid of, maybe trade something out or something, I don't know. We will see, I'm not sure how this video would go. Well, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Alright, here it is. After reorganizing and getting rid of a couple of things. These are going into my nightmare before makeup bag. Because they're kind of dried out and I want to try to use what I can of these. I put this stuff in it and it seemed to help. So I am going to keep this bra, the bra, this box. And this is actually what I got out top part. This is just blush. I normally don't go for the pink blushes, especially pink pinker ones. If I can get this open. Hard to get open in one hand. But I do love the little hearts in those. And I got this for free from um. I mean, I thought that they're great, but since I just got another set in the 
if zip box, there's no need to have two, especially since I don't even use this one much. Got rid of this one. I don't go for this, and they always dry up before I use them anyway. They could have a browny, copper, uh, bronzy color. These I've got crap load of <clears throat> eyeliners and I don't use the liquid much. And this is the only eyeshadow palette I got rid of because I don't see myself using these colors at all. There's some better. I mean, yeah, the only ones I would go for is probably those two right there. Maybe the top row. And maybe this one. But the other colors, I don't see myself using. Alright, so I will clean the other <coughs> departments when I get a chance. And we'll see what I can get rid of. Maybe trade something out or something. I don't know. We will see. I'm not sure how this video would go. Well, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey, lovelies. Welcome back. So I figured I would go through more of my makeup. <clears throat> I figured I would get this out of my Nightmare Before Christmas bag. That's coming off. Gonna scratch a little. I guess that's what I get for keeping it out of the box. Original. Here is the other one. I think this one's a little more bronzy. I'm kind of bad at keeping um, <clears throat> makeup in boxes. It's more, um, the side is more, uh, coppery. That one's a sadder, and this is pumpkin spice, so this one's a little more orangey. I'm kind of tempted just to take everything out and just kind of show you what I have. This one I had in um, one of those boxes that I showed you in first part of the video, so I figured I would give myself, make myself get rid of something in here to make room for this. So we will see how we do. Alright, so I got everything out. So this is my, foundation, I know I've got one like this in my nightmare before Christmas, and it's a long white tube, it's kind of like a moisturizer type foundation. And I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven primers. And I know I've got at least two more by that map for Christmas. And there's the only two bronzing, one of them 
was already in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ladders. Yeah, this one's supposed to be a black eyeliner. It's probably be great for gloss. You like to use black to highlight or it could probably be great for your ass too. Um, I guess this one could be a highlight. This one's got a bronzing highlight and blush in it. This one could be more of a blush, so one, two, three, four, five blushes. I'm not really big on blush. I think this one's more I dropped it. Blush bronzing tap deal. I think this one be perfect for me to keep. This one seems to go good with my skin tone. About run over it with my chair. This one's the one I got out of. I really don't want to say the name because I kind of don't want to get demonetized. I don't know why you want to name a makeup product that. Alright, so let's figure out what to keep and what to get rid of. So, show you a clip when. I get everything cleaned up or organized. All right, so I got rid of two things. She's these two primers. I went crazy about how they feel or smell, but they're still good primers if you're in to like the dewy and stuff. But here is everything. Look at that. So I got a little room there. So the Jurassic Park eyeliner. So I'm going to stick there. I had one in the trap drawer that I just organized. So I'll find something to put in an empty spot, but I also have this putty blush, which I'm going to put right here. So now this is full again, so I usually give my makeup to people I personally know. One of these are going to my mother-in-law, which I think will be this one. I'm going to give this one to a friend. So I've got two more departments of this to reorganize and go through. So I don't know when I'll organize those. But I'll go ahead and end this video here. I'll see you lovelies later. Bye. Alright, here is another department with my makeup case. And I'm going to take this all out and see how I can organize this. And maybe get rid of one atom. Try to get rid of 
one thing in each department, so. It seems like I like everything in this department, so it'd be kind of hard to get rid of something. We'll see. Alright, so this is all the makeup in this department. If anything, I'll take the these are the boxes and maybe put them elsewhere and see if I can make room to put something in here. Alright, the only thing I talked to myself and getting rid of this one here. I don't see myself using this and I've already got other colors like this and other palettes, at least something similar. It's a good palette, but I'm getting rid of that. So, this is what it looks like now. So, I did get rid of some of the boxes. So, taking these out, I actually created a lot more room. So I actually managed to put some more things in here. Which is awesome. And yeah. Now all I have to do is clean the bottom one and I'm not sure when I'll get to that yet. So, so far I hope you're enjoying the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Alright, so I'm getting ready to go to the bottom of my uh, makeup piece. And this one's pretty, well, kind of tall. This is the tallest one in the, the case. It's kind of not far from my knee. But it's <clears throat> on a Bills. Some of these bags got like stuff in it like lipsticks, makeup sponge. But this one's got um eyelashes. This one's more like random stuff. Yeah. Once I get all this out, I think we'll do kind of a clip, probably. Alright, I got everything out. My random furry bag, lipsticks, eyelashes, sponge. Got some makeup up here. Pile there, stitch, pile there, excuse me, those two there. So I'm gonna put everything back in here and get rid of like one or two things. At least, I make some room. Scrubber should be there, so I can probably save some room. Getting rid of this, because there's like enough in here for like one more palette. But these are like really pretty palettes too. <laughs> but the weirdo with me likes to keep stuff in boxes to kind of keep everything together so let's get this in okay so this was in one of my boxes that I've been 
starting to extra makeup. So here, this is Stone Cold Fox from ColourPop. I love the texture. I don't know how well the camera's. There it goes. It's picking up really good. Colors are super pretty. This one is a Aurora Stuck Color Pop. Since I have faded to hue in here, this is the first thing I've got from Color Pop. I figured I would put three of those together. Alright, I'm continuing to put the rest of the stuff in here. Alright, so I am almost done putting this all up. It took a little longer than I wanted because I had my nose stuck on my phone. But after adding two more things, and I'm getting rid of two things, it's something. I did not like the way this lipstick feels. I kind of think. I got it out of one of the boxes. I can't remember. And I'm getting rid of this. And I got getting rid of these two boxes. So one thing I have to put up is these bags. So if you watch this whole video, thank you for watching. Maybe next time I'll do part or something. I'm going through again. I'll probably do something again next year. So I'll meet you for now. Bye. Hello, lovelies and welcome back to my channel so I am gonna finish going through makeup and showing you it's what I have kind of like a um, sewing tail so this is the bottom half of my makeup so right now I am in my living room I figured it's kind of quiet, so I will record it here. So I like to make room in the bottom case for these. So this one, Nikki Rispers sent me. Okay, this one is Grover. This one, Nikki Whispers sent me. So this has got a lot of really pretty colors in it. I haven't got to try it yet, so I Excuse me. But I do like to do a super video of this, just playing around with it, swatching, and maybe doing a makeup look some sort. So I'll actually do something else other than my normal two shot look. Same goes with these. One of my friends sent me these. She's 
been in two or three of my videos. It's very, very old videos. So, these are the um, sugar peel, peel makeup eyeshadows. So my birthday was last month. Alright, so I'm gonna get everything out. Yeah, usually if I go through my makeup, I try to make a go to get rid of at least one thing. Being a Virgo, normie. <laughs> Just a normie. So, one of the things that's at so the very bottom is a Lisa Frank palette. This one was kind of like a no if and or but type of deal. I grew up loving Lisa Frank. Now, I want to keep it in the box. But this palette's a little bit thinner than the box, so I kind of keep it in the bubble wrap. I mean, technically, I would have saved space if I keep it out of the box, but I don't want to damage this. I think they had this one, the unicorn ones, and the yeah. alien. I think if I remember that they were all the same colors, but yeah, I'd rather have unicorn ones. Because growing up I loved unicorns. I still do. This taco one is still a cutie patootie. But I'm so glad I got this one. In the box it has the information on it and I think the palette's kind of like those old Trapper Keepers where you can put your name on the front of it. So that's kind of a cool detail too. So this next palette. 
that that's on top of that is this Mickey Mouse palette I was looking at Donald you can still see where the black outline is but the way they do it made it look like it's washed out there like water got onto it but they do have a smaller pack of this and I think I've only used this maybe once Kind of on my list to do a Mickey Mouse makeup look or something. Alright. back. Next palette is Morphe. Abby Roberts, I think. Yeah, Nikki Whispers also sent me this. I do suggest going and checking her channel out. She's almost a 9,000k subscriber, so please go over there and help her reach that. So these. I used this one once already, and these are very pretty colors as well. The Lisa Frank one I think is from Morphe as well. And I love the part in the front of this. The um, Mickey Mouse one is a Morphe palette as well. This one is just a magnetic lashes. I like to give this a second shot at some point, but this is something Wayne got in just to try on my channel. I don't think he was a fan of this. I normally don't wear lashes. Because I don't see myself with like really long lashes. I kind of want something that's a bit thicker. Alright, so this one is probably my first really expensive makeup palette. This one is one that Wayne got me for my birthday before. We got married. And this is probably one of the palettes I will fetch you over. Yeah, when he got me this, I basically cried. I've got the video up on my channel. The colors are gorgeous, and it comes with an eyeliner. before we got married. I am not use this in another four. Okay, this one. It's from Colourpop. I think I got this last year. No, I got it within the past year. I know that. And then I got Stone Cold. I love how these palettes feel. This one here is more of my style. Especially with if it's going to be in the natural look. I love how the black looks in here.
I'm not really big on like brown colors, but I do love it when it comes to doing my makeup. This one here was my first big palette from ColourPop. And I liked it because I really love how bright these colors are. I got this one. I got my Animal Crossing collection. Great. I'm not used to sitting in I'm a bit squirmy. I like my pasty legs. It's so pasty. Alright, so this one am I gonna put down next? I kinda wanna get on my knees. My knees. This is kind of a weird position. But I got this one's kind of a blush and highlight. This is something cheap that I got from the dollar store. Barely touched it. Same with this one, I barely judge those. Let's see here. I think I had these on the bottom here. This one is a little stitch palette. I love the mirror in here. And right here is this Ohana. The camera's barely picking that up. And this one, a subscriber set. Me, I've not heard from her in a while. And I love how this one is just got popcorn at the front. So I've got several things from my heart revelation. I think I've already showed a couple. I'm going to put these down there. I think I paid like three or four dollars. I can't remember. It wasn't that expensive. This here is from, go order them from Hot Topic. I think after these I didn't order any makeup, any more makeup from Hot Topic. But these do seem to do good. They sort of like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Collection. This one is lock. It's more like red undertones.
This one's more like purple. Red sounds. This is shock. Yeah, in a movie, the mayor wants to call them boys. But in my mind, I want to call this one a girl for some reason. But I'll just take the mayor's word. This one's more of a blue theme, but this one is barrel. Yeah, this one I think I'll probably go after more. The glitch is getting a little dark, so I wonder if it's gonna rain later. This one here is a scrapper also sent me so I decided to keep this box too. So there is a little gap there so I could probably save room if I took these out but I'm like one of those weirdos I like to keep makeup together. So they so all different colors. They're all in here. So I'll show you like one or two of them. So this one is called Space and it's fucked around blue. So this one is soft around green. This one's tall. Like this one is a soft around purple, and this one is called a power. This one is reality. This one's soft around red. Here. This one is so. Uh, this one's gonna go orangey color, so these would be great for fall. Sorry if I'm going a little fast. Mm -hmm. Still got an orange undertone to it, but this one is mine. I'm wondering if this one's supposed to be like a yellow. Yeah, this one's got more yellow shadows to it. So for the little box, it's a pretty a love thing space thing. Don't know why. This one, one of my friends sent me this. She's also my pen pal, and I've known her since 2000. So we like to trade 
birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, just send each other stuff every now and then. I keep the paper because it's got, I don't think it's going to show up well on it. I'm gonna pick up the cut, but it's good. Try that in front of it. Right, here's the colors. Kinda wish they show up a little darker. I think last time I used it, it was kind of a little lot for my liking, but might be good for lighter makeups. I'm kind of going back and forth whether or not to keep these. And these are cute, but I got these off of TV. And I've not, I've not tried them. Kind of wish I just got a one, but I was like, they're so cute. So I kind of want to try them first before I decide to get rid of them because I've heard couple stories about people getting stuff off of Wish and then being like bad for you. This one is sticky. So this one's gonna think if there's supposed to be an owl or some type of bird. But the first one is a fox. And this one is a unicorn. This one looks like a pine comb. So this is what colors look like this. Alright, my camera likes to shut off at like a 25 mark, but I was sitting here kind of swatching these. Some of these do feel dry. And the other ones I swatch are very light. So they're not really picking up a camera. See if I can pick up a dark one. See, this one is supposed to be a brown. Um, it feels very dry to me, so. I can probably see that, but. It's very. streaky. The glitter ones feel like normal glitter shadows but the ones like this one this feels very weird I mostly gotten gold from this one so just like kind of feel better kind of just getting rid of these I kind of scared to give them to someone else So I'll definitely beat my god. So I, I kind of forgot I've had these, but I've been wanting to do a video on those. But it's like they came from Timu, so it's not telling where they came That makes sense. So at uh, least I've made a little bit of room. I'm 
a couple more things. This one I got through Ultra, so this is their Ulta Beauty Collection. I had a Toy, Toy Story one, and I think I sent it to Nikki Whispers, or I gave it to somebody. I can't remember. But I kind of want to keep it because there's probably some shadows in here I probably will use at some point. And I'm not really big on eating fish. I I do love tuna. Now I'll eat the crap out of tuna. But I do love what it says on the side here. It says fish are friends, not Not food. Like I said, the only fish I'll eat is I go crazy over is tuna. So this one I got off of a beauty app. I forgot the name of the app, but I think I afforded like maybe thirty dollars worth of stuff. This is what I got. I actually found something. Well, I found one like this on Amazon, I think, and I ended up getting it for my friend. This is Unicorn Glow. It's a highlight. And this is from Faze Candy. So I don't know if you can still get this or not, but I've definitely use this it's very pretty but but I've been going crazy over this one this one's the alchemist holographic palette by Catherine D I have, I've always wanted at least one thing from her so this is When I got myself, so I've definitely used this one more than the unicorn one, but you can't really tell. But this, you really don't need much. It's so, excuse me, so pigmented, really soft. This is a swatch that I just circled around a couple of times so see how pigmented the cut I actually they scrapped one of them with my nail it's fine it's so fun this is a little bit short I'm all trying to be like Ugh. I usually don't wear that often it's a good so dirty, you see? Everything shows. Don't know if it'll pick up or not. A little bit. Yeah, that's like so shiny. I'll get it up and wash this off because I don't want to get it on me. Especially the glitter. I'm kind of thirsty. Alright, so I'm going to continue. Okay. I got this through on app. Through, I guess, flip. I can't remember, but you. <clears throat> can actually earn cash back from reviewing makeup products and watching videos so you can earn cash back and earn for your makeup products so this is where this one's coming from I think this one's the only makeup I ordered from now 
I ordered like maybe 200 things from them. And I ordered Pick the Mantos palette from them, so they should be here at some point. <clears throat> okay, this is from Revelation, so this is part of their Lion King makeup. So this is the colors in this one. So all of this makeup I've already did together at an unboxing or whatever with. So I think you can only do it on a computer and search certain videos of mine, but I don't think you can. Alright, so this one. Something Wayne let me pick out for Valentine's one year because we did a thing I let him pick out something he wanted and this is something that I wanted so it's very pretty I love that this isn't a tin but I'm kind of sad that it is a little Deemed up at the edge of this, but you can't really see. Well, this one is just a base paint, and you just need one or two active fake these. They still smell kind of like a coconut. So you can tell I've actually used like most of these. I think the reddish one and this one's probably the only ones I've not really used much. It's showing up really red on the screen, but it's kind of looks. This one is just a highlight palette. This is very white and pinkish. It's got like a goldish glow to it. I guess that's why they call it the glow. This one I got out of, I think, Boxy Charm. This one's kind of like a Another highlight. Yeah, it's baked highlighter and broadening quad. This is what I got from one of the boxy charms as well. Alright, this one I got with one of my um description palettes. I can't remember if it was Bakshi Charm or through Ipsy. But it came with this little card in it so I decided just to keep it in the box. But I love how this is just lifted up a little bit. Can't really tell, but colors are really, really pretty. I do love how this top part is like a box.
and this one's got a little note it says hello beautiful we have removed the mirror and magnets inside to be more sustainable we strive to make the best sustainable choices in all of our products and let's be real you'll probably be using the palette and let's be real you'll probably be using this palette in front of a mirror anyway by removing the mirror and magnets it becomes fully recyclable and we are saving this palette from going directly into the landfill. It's a win-win for both you and our Mother Earth. Thanks for your love and understanding. Hashtag good vibe beauty. Which they are not wrong. How often do we really use palettes in these? I mean how often do we actually use mirrors in these? Just got a few more to go through. I can get this one open. There you go. This one is more of a eyeshadow palette. This one's the one I got through one of the boxy charms. I don't think I really touch this much, but I'll keep a hold of it and see if I'll use it in the future. I do like the color setting. I think this one I got off of eBay. I think I see someone on YouTube talking about this palette and I was like I'm curious if I can find it off the AP because I know some people will order um, sauce like this and down the road we sell it and this wasn't exactly barely pressed when I bought it off the AP either it was still new I really don't see me going for this much, for this much, but it's like so cute. The colors are really pretty too. And you want to know something cool about the little pony? Or the old My Little Pony toys? Actually, stick them on the fridge. They have magnets on their feet. So, I might have to do a little TikTok with mine just showing you that. This one is. Another highlight collection. I was trying to figure out this for blue agave from Mexico. This is cruelty free. Animal tested free peta. So this is from this company. So this is just makeup brushes. My friend actually got me these. We need a little cleaning and it's been a while since I've used these too.
Denise or small brushes and I'm pretty sure these are not lessons. These are Pokemon brushes. I personally think if they were lessons they'd be a little better looking. Especially with this one. If it'll focus. I don't think it's gonna focus. It's not really painted that great, so guarantee they're not glasses. And the other ones they look great. It's just that one. And they still feel like mass brushes. I don't remember how much I paid for these. I know they were on a cheaper side. If they were lessons, they'd probably be charging a little bit more than when I probably paid for them. This one is from that ColourPop Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I'm just like, I really don't want to use this beauty one unless I absolutely have to. Because I didn't want to. Ruined Cyril. Cyril's cute. He's so cute. And I love the inside of the box too. Alright, so I'll. So I've got this one standing up in here too. I already showed you these. I was waiting till last to put them in. These are just Eyelashes. Got some pink ones. I don't see me using those pink ones for anything to be on. These are mostly lip glosses. These ones here are mostly new. I'm just like, I really don't want to go through all the all house. Okay, this one makes me want water cooling now. I'm tempted just to pour all these out and just gonna go through them that way. Cause if I go through just the lipsticks, it'll probably be a little longer. So this one and. This one is from Colourpop. I, it came with a ditto one and I gave it to my friend. This one I ordered from Etsy, so it's supposed to turn pink. 
And I just love that it had a bummer storm on it. And I have got myself a bake us. I'm gonna save a little room. So I'm more likely gonna end up keeping most of these if A to get rid of you know from L come back collections no. If not, I'll make a clip. I'm saying goodbye just to end the video. Alright. Uh -huh. See you in a, in a minute. Which is my battery is about to die. So I got rid of two lipsticks. So I figured my friend will like. Oh. Got one. It's like a reddish one. I got a liquid. liquid lipstick just like it then I have quite a bit of purple which this is a purple one so I still got two bags full of lipsticks now this one is just sponges let's make a uh, Subscriber actually sent me, so this baby actually feels really nice. So it's still full. Cool. I'll just put in well, like four atoms. Maybe got ended up getting rid of five, so that's pretty good. So this bottle map is actually almost up to my knee. So this is the end of this video. So I've got my makeup bag I use every time I do makeup. And then I have two boxes full of makeup. Like a tiny shoe box, like whatever. I think I'm still been in debating on whether or not to do two separate videos or just do all those in one. I know this one's long because there's a lot in this layer of makeup so I will end here now and I will see you all later. Bye!